So it's a very exciting time in the world of jailbreaking. We have the developers that just came out with CheckRay, which means you can jailbreak your iOS devices on 13.2.2, and it has a firmware or the chipset of the A11 iOS devices, which means no iPhone 11 Max, no iPhone 11 Pro, but you're also able to do the Apple TV 4 with the 13.2 iOS version, tvOS version. So today we're going to jailbreak the Apple TV 4 and that's coming up. What's up guys, this is Hervé from Hervé's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by, don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, tech reviews of your products. Today we're going to jailbreak our Apple TV 4 with iOS 13.2. A couple weeks ago you were not able to do that. You'd be stuck on the firmware if you updated, but we are now able to jailbreak with CheckRain with the tvOS, which is 0.9.3. Anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom over here. Let's go get this puppy started. Now, we're not going to do this on my TV, but we're going to do this on my condo home theater because that's really where it's going to end up. Let's go get this started. Okay, so you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a USB-C cable. You can't do it on the Apple TV 4K because it doesn't have a USB input on the back of it. So you're going to need a USB-C cable, you're going to need a power cable, you're going to need HDMI, plugged into the source because this is a tethered jailbreak. Once again, it's a tethered jailbreak, which means if you ever lose power, you'd have to re-jailbreak your device. So in order to reboot your system, make sure you don't pull the power plug because you're going to need to re-jailbreak your device. With that out of the way, let's go get this puppy started. Okay, so a couple caveats. So the first thing you're going to see is we have check rain here. We have our Apple TV plugged in to our projector. And when you double click here, this is the 0.9.3 tvOS-1 DMG. So you can actually move it over. And what I suggest is you keep both copies and we can double click and if you get this, it is simply saying check ring can't be open because it is from an unknown developer. So you're going to go to system preferences. You're going to move this over. You'll see security and privacy. And you put in your password. You're going to go in, you hit OK. And the minute you do, it'll say open anyway. Tap in, hit open. Okay, so we have Apple TV 4, tvOS 3.2 connected in normal mode. We click start, and then it's going to say that it's going to put the Apple TV in DFU mode to jailbreak the device. So we hit next, and now it's putting it in DFU mode. So now you're going to need your trusty remote, and there are a couple steps you're gonna to need to do to get it into jailbreak. So device is now in recovery mode and you can tell by how quickly it is turning right there. So both buttons. Release. And now it is entering DFU mode by exploiting and rebooting. So you have to remember, this is a tethered jailbreak. So if you unplug this from power, you're not gonna be able to do what you need to do with this device. And then once it boots up, you'll see that it has Neato TV, and that is the next step. But while it's doing, it's now done, so you can hit done. So my suggestion, keep both versions on your device. We hit okay. Now we can take out our cord, our USB cable, and we're going to boot our Apple TV 
with our projector to see exactly where it is. So let us get that going. Okay, so let's turn on our Cronova projector and we do this. This is going for $249. It's a 5500 lumen projector, a 4000 contrast ratio, 1080p projector. And if we turn it this way, it's a very affordable great projector and we go and put our screen down so here we have the elite screens spectrum 2 Let's get, let's get this a little closer. So as you see, we have a 110 inch screen in the living room and it states here that the Checkrain RC1 installer is there. So you hit done. Let's make it a little darker for you. And now what it's doing is it's rebooting and it's going to install the jailbreak. Now, this projector is really, really good. We're able to turn our condo into a home theater, which is very hard to do. And as you see, Needle TV is exactly on. But in our space, we're able to watch all our content and have everything exactly where we want it. And we do update. And you go on the top, you see updates, click on updates, update all, and let it do its thing. Hit yes to continue. And it's as simple as that. It's actually really easy. It's actually an easier process than doing your phone. So we're going to configure. We are successful in updating the Neato TV. You hit exit. And now, if you take a look, we have all of our stuff here, and we should see Neato TV right over here. Click in. But I have on my projector, we have the Apple TV 4 as well as the Fire Cube 2. And now we are going to. Tap this, we can download our Kodi TVOS, hit install, <clears throat> and that is that, as simple as that. So we're going to see what else we can install, what else comes in Needle TV, but it's a really good, easy option. And if you are one of those per people that have an Apple TV 4, not a 4K, but a 4, now you are able to jailbreak your device with the latest version of Kodi and you'd be good to go. Okay, so it's finished and it's asking for a respring. So we respring. But in my home theater, I want to have every option for content. So we have a Fire Cube 2. It's proving to be really, really good. Um, really solid, solid device with our Apple TV 4 and this input, the inputs on the projector 
actually there's two different HDMI's and I could put an external hard drive on here as well because there's two USB ports. So let's see what we have. And here we go, what do we have? We do have what we are looking for here. If you don't know that this is a really good application, well, now you know. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. Peace.